In this video, I will continue with regular expressions. I guess that you already know about regular expressions from your uh, programming knowledge. And the idea here is that you can have regular expressions uh, with your routes. For example, here we have uh, a user and uh, for the user we take an ID. We also have a product and for the product we also have an ID. And the same here for the test, we accept an ID. So what I want to do is to have a constraint. What I mean is that I want the ID to always be a number. So if, if I say something like user and slash and we have uh, letters and numbers, well, it is not valid. So the idea is that after the user, I want to have an ID and the ID has to be a number. So let me try this. So if I go to user, with ID 5, you can see that we return 5. If I say 5 and then, you know, a couple of letters, we return this whole thing. So the idea is that I want to use regular expressions in order to accept just numbers, no letters. So how can I do that? Well, if we go back to this, we can see that uh, it is very simple by just adding a WHERE clause. So what I will do is to go here, for example, uh, at the user route and let me cut this and paste this in the end so we can work a lot easier and uh, what I want to do is to add a where clause so where and then we need to specify the parameter as you can see the name of the parameter is id so we need to have the same thing there so id then we have a comma and we have the regular expression in order now to accept only numbers, I have to say inside the uh, inside brackets, we have to say 0, 2, 9, and a plus in the end. So that's all. If now I save this and I go back to my browser and I try to go to, uh, to a user with ID 5, it will work. If I now try to access 5 blah, five blah, 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 you will see that we get um, a not found HTTP exception. And this is great because we know now that this regular expression works. So ID now accepts only numbers, no letters. So this is pretty cool, I think, that uh, you know it, it will help you a lot with your uh, development. Now let's see something else. So if I go to my routes.php, we can see that we have uh, ID for album, we have ID for user, we have ID for, for the test here. So all of them are named ID. So what I want to do this in this uh, in this case is to have a global constraint and global regular expression, which means every time that we use ID, I want this regular expression to apply globally, okay, to all of them, to all the routes that use ID. So how can I do this? Well, you can go to your route service provider and here inside the boot, we can have our global constraint. And I can prove this actually if we go back to the documentation. You can see now that in order to add a global constraint, uh, you have to go to your route service provider, which is what I have opened right here. And inside the boot function, you have your global constraint. So let me go to the code and say, router pattern and here now we have to give the pattern so we want every time that we use id to have this regular expression which is numbers from 0 to 9 excellent semicolon in the end and uh, save and i think that we are ready now so if i go to test and i say 5 it should return 5. If I say 5a, it should return an error, and it does. Which means that uh, we finally achieved uh, a global constraint. So we have uh, actually applied this ID, uh, sorry, we have applied uh, this pattern here, which is uh, by using the ID, the parameter, the named parameter ID, we have this regular expression. And this applies globally to all routes that use ID which is album, which is user, the test that I just tried. And actually, let me try also album. 
So you can also see by yourself that this is true. So if I say album five, we get the default value, which is five right here. And if we say ID one, it should return one. If we say one, blah, 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 it should return an error. Excellent. Great, so now let's continue with uh, named routes. So named routes actually, it's something that we have already used. As you can see, here at the beginning, uh, for the for the root page, for the about page, and for the contact page, and also for the test, we have used named routes. So by now, you should already know what this route is. However, let me also try another one. Let me create one from the beginning. So I will say route get, and here, of course, we need the URI, which will be named routes. And now, here for the action, we need a couple of options. For example, let's see. We have us, and uh, we need to specify the name of the route, which will be, in this case, named routes, let's say. And the second one is uses. So uses, first of all, we need the controller. We can say pages controller. And then we need also the function or otherwise the axiom. We can try get index just for, you know, for testing. So I will save, and now I will go to named routes. So named routes. And as you can see, it will call uh, the Laravel 5 view. Now, why do we need this as option here? Well, we have already actually done this. If you go to your resources, views, products, and then you go to index, you can see that we have a route here, and this route requires the name of the route. For example, in this case, it is about. And I can prove this if we go uh, right here. As you can see, this is the name of the route, and in order to execute this URI, to, to access this URI, we use this uh, controller and this axiom. So the case is this. This is the name of the route, which is about. Uh, actually, we could have this, uh, you know, about one to three, for example. It does not need to be the same with the URI. In this case, you know, it happened that uh, about was the same as the URI. Now, the thing that changes is this. Here, I used to have about. However, now I changed the name of the route to about one to three, which means that in order to access this route, I also have to change this to about one to three. And now this should work. So this is what the name the route is about. Okay, so let me delete the one to three there and also delete one to three there. Excellent. Back to the documentation now. Next one in the list is uh, route groups and named routes, which means that we can have routes inside a group. And we can actually also give the group a name. In this case, we give the name admin and then with two, you know, this kind of character, whatever it is called. And the way you access now the, the route is different. So let me try this. If I go here and uh, I create a, you know, a route group, I can name this uh, uh, admin also. So let me try this as, and here we can say admin. The callback now will be in function, so function, curly braces, close that, and here now we can have our uh, named routes. For example, uh, let me actually copy this, so I do not write the whole thing, and I will create two of this, so another one, very good. Now the first one will be named um, dashboard, and the, na the name of the route will be dashboard. The second one will be named reports, and the name of the route will be reports. And uh, the next step is to also change the action, so we can say get dashboard and get reports. Uh, first of all, you should not have, you know, the admin functions inside pages controller, because uh, pages controller is only for the get index or the about page or the contact page, you know, for this kind of stuff. 
So you should not have uh, accent get dashboard and get reports inside your pages controller. It is kind of stupid. So you should have an admin controller or something like that in order to call these two actions. However, in this case, we're just, you know, doing this uh, for testing. So I do not want to spend a lot of time. That's why I have them here. So get dashboard and the other one is called. We can also return something here, for example, return dashboard and get reports is the second one, return reports. So uh, what I want to do now is to access uh, these two actions, so uh, dashboard and uh, reports. So how can I do this? Well, we already know that we can use the route, right? However, uh, because now we have a group, so because we have uh, our routes inside a group route, this kind of changes a bit. So it is not the same now. So let me go to the welcome page and uh, let me create here the new routes. So let me also delete this one. Okay. Inside here now I will create, I will, I will say a route, and as I said, it will be different. So it will not be the same uh, as we have uh, here. And of course, and of course, this has to be a link, so let me change this. Okay. So inside here now, I have to say route and well, we used to say something like this, the name of the route, which is dashboard. If I say this and I try to access the dashboard, so if I go to my index page here, as you can see, it says route dashboard not defined. So it does not even open the view. And this is true because, as I said, when you have your routes inside the route group, things change a bit. The reason is because we have this as here. So in order now to access dashboard, I should have at the front, at the beginning, I should have this. So let me add this. If now I access the welcome page or the index page, you can see that now it works. And if I go to dashboard, it should work. And now it says dashboard. Excellent. So let me also create uh, a link for the other one which is uh, reports, so route. Again, I have to say admin, this character, whatever it is, whatever it is called. And uh, now I have to add the name of the route, which is reports, so reports. And here we can say reports. If we save everything and we reload, we can see now that we have a new link. And if I click here, we get the reports uh, which is the result that we have right uh, here. Very good. So, as you can see, this is what changes when you have things, when you have routes inside a route group. We can also have something else. We can also have a prefix. So, we said that these are functions that the admin can call, reports and dashboard. So let's actually have something like this. Let's say that uh, instead of having localhost 8000 slash reports, I want to say admin slash reports. Okay, I want to have something like this, or for example, admin slash uh, dashboard. So how can I achieve this? Well, if we go back to the routes.php, after as, I can also add a prefix. So prefix arrow and here now we can say the prefix that we want which is admin in our case so I will save and I will reload and as you can see now it works and if I say reports again it should work if now you try to access without the admin prefix you can see that now it uh, generates you know an error so depending on what you want to do, you can have the prefix or you can just have the name of the group. I think that this is enough for this video, so I will stop this here and continue with the next one.